Hello, uh, I would like to show you something I've built in Space Engineers. This ship is specially designed to print uh, antenna relay satellites. So the reason I'm doing I built this was because I wanted to control my base on Mars from the colony on Earth where most of the people in the server have decided to settle down. So I've been printing these satellites and I've already gotten 14 printed. And as you can see, uh, because each one of them is 50 kilometers apart, I can remote access the base on Mars, which is over 651 meters away, 651,000 meters away. Um, so let me just show you how it works. Uh, right now the welders are on, the projector is on, now if I turn the merge block on, it will begin to print the satellite. And it just kind of grows downward. And I just got to wait for uh, this first layer to finish printing. Alright, looks done. Almost. Okay. I extend it, and the moment more stuff starts flashing, I stop the piston. You see, now it's actually making the antenna part on the bottom. This uh, ship can fly um, with a full main container full of enough components to make 10 of these satellites on the alien planet. That means that on a server like the one I'm playing on right now, with times 10 inventory, I can print 100 satellites in one run, which is enough to get to Earth and back and halfway to Earth again because perfectly spaced out, it would take about 40 satellites to get from Mars to Earth. Once the satellite is fully printed, I want to make sure that uh, the satellite will get full, the solar panels get full coverage from the sun uh, at all times. So to do that, I simply need to face towards the sun. I have a camera set up here just to make sure. And I like to line it up this way, though it's not really important. As long as the satellite is pointing towards the sun, it's enough. So, oops. Now that that's set, I can hit the merge block. Go away. And now I can remote access into the grid. Um, because this is satellite number 15, hit 15, convert to station so it can't move. Go to the antenna, make sure that the name on the antenna is right, show ship name, share with all. I've noticed that share with all makes it so that it works better at longer distances. I'm not sure why, it just is the case. Share with a faction or share with none. Uh, when I get 50 kilometers away, it doesn't seem to show up on the remote, ac remote access menu. So once all these settings are in properly, I can angle towards my destination. 
which is that's Mars. Need to go to Earth, which is over here. So we point towards Earth. Uh, make sure the warp is set to between 40 and 50 kilometers. And jump. Now, you'll notice that uh, if you go in, if you've been doing this and you go into the remote access menu, you won't actually see the uh, relays that you just printed. However, you will still be able to access everything else. So again, I'm still able to access my base on Mars. When you log, uh, exit the server and go back into the server, you will be able to see all of the relays properly. So just relogging is the solution if you actually want to see and access the terminals of all of your satellites. And uh, now that um, this is now that I've jumped to the next position and I've confirmed that I can access the other satellites, I simply uh, retract the piston and begin the process all over again. So yeah, that is my um, relay satellite printer. Um, uh, if you guys want me to, I uh, will put links to this uh, to the workshop um, page in the description. Uh, so if you if you want that, please put that there so I know that I should um, upload this uh, and maybe improve it a little bit before uploading. If you guys want to use it. All right. Well, that's all for now.